Super Smash Bros. Ultimate has one more DLC fighter left for Fighter Pass 1. So far, all we know is that this character is set to release before February 2020. With Terry recently being released, we, for the first time since Joker's release, have no new character to look forward to. Today, I want to discuss who I think the new character could be, and when I think they'll announce them. I'll be going over some popular picks and some of my personal favorite picks, but with that being said, this will be based on how likely I think the character is, and not based on how much I want this character, necessarily. Let's jump right into it. So first, let's start with when and where I think this character will be announced, since it'll be much easier than predicting the new character's identity. I think we will get our first look of the final fighter for Fighter Pack 1 at the Game Awards. This is because the timeline fits perfectly, and since Joker was announced there last year, it come full circle to have the final one announced there as well. Seeing as Nintendo always has something for the Game Awards, I wouldn't be surprised if it's Fighter 5, as that generated a lot of hype last year. It's possible they could wait until a possible January Direct, but I find it much more likely to be at the Game Awards on December 12th, less than a month away. Now let's look through some of the popular picks and see who I think it could be. First though, let's eliminate some characters from existing franchises in Smash. I definitely think we could get future old franchise characters, but since it's the Fighters Pass and since it's the last one, it seems like they're trying to avoid fighters that are in pre-existing series. So to me, this eliminates some popular picks such as Bandana D, Waluigi, Gino, and most unfortunate of all, Dry Bones, among many other requested characters. Not saying these characters won't come later, just I don't see them being Fighter 5. But now onto the fighters that I think actually have a chance. Now for a lot of these characters, I haven't played their games, so please if I say something wrong, don't kill me. First off is Crash Bandicoot. He'd fit well into Smash, seeing as his art style and games of origin fit many already existing characters. He has an easy moveset potential, and he is very iconic in the gaming community. With him now having multiple games on Switch, as well, I think his chances are fairly high. Next up is Sora from Kingdom Hearts. Now I really don't know much about the Kingdom Hearts series, so let me know if I get something wrong. With Kingdom Hearts being fairly popular, the main character Sora is highly requested for Smash Bros. However, I really don't see this one happening for one main reason, the copyright. Obviously, Disney owns part of Kingdom Hearts, and I think it'd be very hard for Nintendo to be able to obtain the license from them. But if the licensing all works out, then Sora's got a pretty high chance, seeing as how requested he is, and seeing how Smash Bros. Ultimate's main goal is to include requested characters. Now for this segment, we will be taking a look at a possible Namco rep. Namco helps develop Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and while they do have one character, Pac-Man, they really, in my opinion, deserve to have at least one more, because they also work pretty hard on this game. Also, the Hihachi Mii costume from Tekken hasn't returned yet, which would make sense if they saved him to release with a Namco rep. From their IPs, I think the best two, based on how popular they seem to be and how much I hear about them, is Lloyd Irving and Hihachi himself. In my personal opinion, a Namco rep is the most likely candidate for Fighter V, even if it's not these two. However, I think these two are the most likely out of all the Namco reps. Finally, we have the one I personally want to see the most, and find to be fairly likely, Steve from Minecraft. He comes from the most popular game of all time, and since Smash is a place for gaming icons, it makes perfect sense for them to add Steve in. Also, it was very weird that Banjo didn't get any Microsoft Mii costumes, despite the fact that all other companies, even Square, who to say the least is very protective of their brands, brought multiple Mii costumes. To me, this may show that they have another Microsoft rep planned. The only other one I could see possibly happening besides Steve is Master Chief, however, I can't really see him fitting well into Smash based on how his moveset is and how his games are. Also, Sakurai likes to play Minecraft in his free time. Like he said, he loved SNK and King of Fighters and such, which influenced him to pick Terry from the list Nintendo gave him. I bet the same could possibly have happened with Steve, as I'm pretty sure Nintendo would have put him on their list. And also, if we're going with the Game Awards theory, how amazing would it be if after some sort of special 10 year anniversary video for Minecraft, they made it turn into a Steve reveal trailer for Smash Ultimate? That would be incredible and the crowd would be going crazy. Steve has great moveset potential as well, and all around I think he's got a fairly high chance. Maybe not as much as a Namco rep, but a fairly high one nonetheless. Now those are all the characters I think have the highest chance, but honestly who knows at this point? 
I do think that this one last character will have to be a big or a very popular character within the Smash community, which is why I think Steve has a pretty good chance. Now, I don't normally cover leaks on this channel, especially this just say 4chan leaks, as I don't really trust them, but I'm going to really quickly go over some that are somewhat credible, so here's a timestamp if you just want to skip over the leak part. But anyway, two prominent leakers, Sabi and Vergaman, who've both gotten several things right, have both come out and deconfirmed several fighters from Fighter 5, being Ryo Hayabusa from Ninja Gaiden, Scorpion from Mortal Kombat, Doom Slayer from Doom, Geno from Super Mario RPG, and Crash from Crash Bandicoot. Now to be honest, I don't really trust many leakers, especially Bergaman, as the, both of these guys have both gotten several things wrong before, and I don't know, I just really don't trust leaks, I just covered this because a lot of people like looking into leaks, and I just thought it would be worth mentioning just in case any of you trust Sabi or Virgaman. But anyways, that's it for this video. Who do you all think will be Fighter 5 and when do you all think we will get them? Let me know in the comments. Personally, I think it might be, and I really hope it is, Steve from Minecraft. But with the Game Awards less than a month away, I really don't think we're going to have to wait long for this next character. Links to my Twitter and Discord are in the description. If you went and checked those out, I would greatly appreciate it. If you like this video, drop a like and maybe even subscribe to help out the channel, as it would help me out a huge bunch. But anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.